Hey guys, this is the second part of the day one of 30 days of couponing. Um, my video got cut off on me. Where I left off was talking about the $1 off cooking oil shortening purchase of $3 or more. Um, now, with these coupons, sometimes you're going to find that they're a store coupon, and it'll say store coupon. Sometimes you're going to find that they're a manufacturer coupon. If it is a manufacturer coupon, and it says redeemable at, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but it says redeemable at food line, um, you can use these in other locations. You can use these at Walmart, the commissary, wherever you choose. Um, now, if this same coupon come out and it said redeemable only at, you'd only be able to use this at food line unless you have a store that accepts competitors' coupons. Now, as far as the store coupons go, um, if you have a money off order, which is, say you're $3 off your next order or $3 off um, your next $25 purchase, if you have a Harris Teeter near you, you can use these. If they say they come from Food Line, you're allowed to use those at Harris Teeter. Uh, and I'll give a better breakdown um, during the Harris Teeter section. Um, since you're new to couponing, if you check out couponnetwork.com, it actually has printable coupons, but it also will give you a breakdown of what kind, what you have to buy to print certain Catalinas. Now. These just print out at Food Line at random times. Sometimes, depending on what you buy, um, it just triggers it to, to print. As far as the basic Catalinas, you can look on the couponnetwork.com and it'll tell you purchase three boxes of Nature Valley bars and receive a dollar, dollar Catalina, a dollar off your next order. Purchase four Nature Valley bars and get two dollars back. Purchase five and get three dollars back. Um, that's just an example. They vary. Sometimes you can end up making money off of these Catalinas. Um, and that will be gone over in a later section as well. But um, sometimes you can actually plan your shopping trips when there is a Catalina out that is going to make things free or very, very cheap. You can actually plan your shopping trips around it. Um, when you look on Coupon Network, make sure that if you find a Catalina for something that you're going to use, um, you want to see if there's coupons out for that item as well because you can use coupons to lower the price and then get the cat use the cat the catalina will still print okay um as far as the coupons that are come out in the newspaper this is just an example of one some coupons you're going to find has one have one barcode and some we're going to have two now um Sometimes you're going to get Target coupons and other store coupons in the newspaper. So what you want to look for are manufacturer coupon. You're going to have your expiration date. And my mind just went totally blank. Um, if you're at a store that doubles, um, like Harris Teeter doubles, and I'll go over that in, in that section as well. But you're going to want to, hopefully, your coupon has this barcode that looks like a UPC. If it starts with a number five, it will automatically double. If it starts with a number nine, it won't double. Now, we have, this is back to the tear pads. You're gonna find commissary coupons, um, military store coupons. They are still manufacturer coupons. Um, it's hard to tell with this little barcode. Most store coupons are going to have a, a random barcode as well. But, um, remember that all commissary and military store cu or coupons. When you have one that has the UPC barcode on it, you're going to find that it either starts with a 5 or a 9. And that, that tells you that it's a manufacturer coupon. Um, some stores will accept these, and I'll go over that um, in the sections when I break down the stores. Now you have printable coupons. If you go to Food Line, you're going to scan your card at the at the blue kiosk. Um, some of the coupons will say store coupons, point of sale coupons, and then they're going to be manufacturer coupons. I got this months ago um, and it expires on 9-30-2012. I've got ones that I've printed out there that don't expire to 2013. Um, if you go multiple times a week, sometimes you'll get multiple of the same coupon. Um, and sometimes they're the exact coupons that maybe have been on 
printable sites. They could be ones from newspapers. I mean, the same value, same type of products. And sometimes it's just random products that you, they have coupons for. Alright, so then we have this come from couponnetwork.com. This is one of the printable ones. Now, when you look at a printable one, there's, um, unless it's a PDF coupon, um, if it comes from like an actual um, coupons.com, couponnetwork.com, they're going to have uh, pin codes to prove that it's a one-of-a-kind coupon. Um, they, most of the sites will allow you to print two, two coupons per computer. Well, if I printed out two of these exact coupons, they're going to have, under this barcode, the numbers are going to be totally different. It's almost like a pin number. The, these don't say pin number, but the um, some of the other sites, have it says pin number on the coupon. Um, but this is going to tell the cashier when you get out there, when she checks these numbers, that it's not a photo, it's not a photocopy, that they are two different coupons. Let's see. Here's another example. There's a longer, that one has a longer number. And here's another example. And it'll actually say offer ID, PIN number, and they'll be different. And sometimes there may only be one, one digit difference. All right, these, this did have a little hook on it. These are wine tags or hang tags. Um, you find these just hanging around products sometimes. Grab a couple of these just like you do with the uh, tear pads and the um, pillies. But you can open this up and it's actually a big coupon. Um, this coupon it actually expires 930, but I've had this for about six months. And it's for Spick and Span, which I don't see coupons a lot for. All right, so we got inserts. We went over the inserts in the newspapers, the pillies, the tear pads, wine tags and hang tags, um, food line printables, printables, and contacting manufacturers. If you have any questions at all, you can feel free to post on my Facebook page, send me a message, or an email. My email address is thecouponmama at hotmail.com. Have a great day.